Hi, my name is Kara Wagoner and I just sat down with Josh Blankenship to discuss his summer internship with Southwest Airlines. This is Converging News. Hello Josh, how did you learn about your internship at Southwest Airlines? Okay, well uh, basically one day I just heard that they were going to be on campus doing an internship presentation and it took place over at the uh, business college and so I went and sat in on that and I had heard through you know the grapevine a little bit about how prestigious the internship was and how um, every student should almost make it a goal to try to you know get in there from a communication standpoint because we have some great alumni there and so I went to the information session and uh, sat in the crowd and that's where I really learned about all the details of it. That's great and when where was your internship? Uh, it took place in Dallas and that, that's where they're headquartered at Love Field and it took place last summer so that would be the summer of 2011 and um, it was a three-month internship so it went from the very end of May into mid-August so it was all summer. That's great. Mm -hmm. What was the position title and what did you specifically get to do? Okay yeah so I was a culture activities intern and so there was uh, myself and one other uh, guy that was the department intern so there were two of us and basically if you know anything about Southwest they love their culture and so the culture activities department is uh, charged with upkeeping the culture at Southwest Airlines and so a lot of what we did was internal communications to remind the employees of all the great things that other employees are doing so like uh, different community service events and things like that to remind us the Southwest culture and so one thing we got to do is also a customer appreciations and so we would plan events to go to different airports and we would package up cookies and put a little like thanks for flying southwest sticker on them and as you know the customers got off the plane we'd be standing there with cookies to just kind of make their day and that's there's a lot of the little things that make southwest southwest that's what our department got to do and so that's that was i mean it was a lot of fun we also did gate decorating contests so at all the different airports across the united states we would hold, they have an internal blog, and so we would write like a 4th of July gate decorating contest, like blog entry, and we would ask people to decorate, we would come up with categories, and they would send in pictures, and then we would reward the winners with these blue passes and stuff so the employees could fly their families and stuff around, and we just gotta have a lot of fun. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Who was the most memorable person that you met during your internship? Uh, Herb Kelleher. He's the founder of Southwest Airlines. Uh, he's an amazing man. He's, he's a CEO emeritus now, so he's like no, no longer the, the CEO of the company, but he's still, we were in the executive office, I guess, and so he was around, and it's just amazing meeting a guy that started Southwest Airlines. Uh, he's a, quite the character. I don't even know how old he is now, but he's still like the spunkiest guy ever. Uh, anyway, he's, he's a very interesting man and uh, he loves Texas Tech. I remember got to meet him and go into his office and you know introduce myself and I'm like, oh yeah, I go to Texas Tech and he's like, oh, the Red Raiders have been great to us throughout the years. But, you know, there's a lot of different tech alumni that work at Southwest Airlines and for him to, to recognize that, it was cool. So he's, he's an awesome guy. What was the most memorable experience in your internship? Uh, probably getting to just fly around for free to do the uh, different customer appreciation events. Uh, basically like my third day on the job we flew to Chicago and I mean that was amazing that here I am like third day on the, on the job and I'm like hey we need you in Chicago tomorrow and so we got to fly out there and basically when a plane lands uh, they've got I think it's like 20 minutes or less or whatever to clean it and get it ready for the next passengers and so the um, flight attendants, once they land, they immediately have to sweep and clean and pull stuff out of the, the backs of the seats and stuff. And so basically, when they pulled in, uh, they have this thing called the culture committee, which is made up of other employees. And so uh, the other intern and I with the culture committee would be waiting. When they opened the doors, we were there with Subway sandwiches and then vacuums and stuff. And we basically said, sit down, enjoy a sandwich, and we're going to clean the plane for you. And so. I mean, it was a blast, and, and especially since it took place so early in the internship, like that just stuck with me. I was like, I can't believe I get to do this. Do you still stay in communication with people at Southwest Airlines? Yeah, I do. Um, I keep up with like three or four of the other interns, and they were from all over. One guy's from Daytona Beach, another guy from Michigan, and so I keep in touch with them. And 
they're actually moving to Texas. One of the guys going to try to get on with Southwest, another guy's moving to Austin. So we plan to, you know, keep being friends. Um, I keep in touch with one of the recruiters, Luke Stone. He's a tech grad. He was actually the one that made the initial internship presentation I went to. And so I kind of keep in contact with him, let him know kind of what's going on in my career and stuff like that so that maybe someday I get back with Southwest. And then also Linda Rutherford, who's uh, the vice president of communications. She's a tech grad as well. And so I keep in contact with her. And uh, she's obviously someone great to have in your network. And so, yeah, I try to. They're good people. Looking back at this experience, what is the most important thing that you learned? The most important thing I learned is probably it was my first taste of like corporate, like workplace. I mean, I know Southwest is kind of a different corporate environment than most places, but it, I'd never been in one before. And so to finally be in a, an office building where, you know, you're in a cubicle and you're sending emails and you're scheduling meetings and just kind of figuring out how to relate to coworkers in the corporate setting, that's the kind of stuff I took away is how to be prompt uh, and kind of what's expected of you in those environments. So, those are things I'll take forward, you know, with me. How do you think this experience has benefited you or how will it help you in your future endeavors? Well, it's benefited me. Uh, basically, the biggest thing is I get to put that on my resume. It's a very recognizable internship. And so that's it's opened a lot of doors for me, not necessarily, you know, at Southwest, but also just anywhere I've applied, uh, people really respond well to the internship. And so it's opened a lot of doors that way. And then also, again, it's, it's taught me how to you know, work in a corporate environment, uh, to relate to people, and you know, how to good, be a good co-worker in a professional setting. And so those are the things I'll take with me. And then it opens doors and it's expanded my network. Uh, having great Red Raiders at Southwest Airlines is something that'll benefit me in the future. What is your dream career? My dream career, I want to be in corporate communications. I want to uh, be an in in-house. I don't I haven't really been exposed to much agency work. Um, I'm open to anything, obviously, but I, I think I want to work for a corporation in their PR office. And right now, I'm the social media intern for Texas Tech Admissions, and I love social media. It's a big, booming market, and it's a lot of fun. And I would kind of like to position myself as a, either corporate PR or some kind of social media manager or something someday. I mean, those are probably the two fields I'm interested in. You seem to have a very clear focus on what you want to do and in regards to your career. If you could give any piece of advice to any other PR majors or mass communication majors, what would it be? Get some internships. It's amazing how difficult the job market is right now. I feel like you can apply to tons of positions and um, there's so many people putting in for everything that you've got to have at least one, if not two or three good internships where you can look back and recall, you know, professional work environments, real world experience. You learn so much. It's amazing what you can learn with one day in an internship underneath professionals versus, you know, one day uh, in a classroom. I mean, both are valuable, but you can learn a ton of the little details in an internship and you're going to need those. And also network. Um, Again, going back to how competitive it is out there, if you don't have an advocate on the inside of someplace you're applying that can stick up for your resume or pull it to the top, it's hard to get noticed. And so the, the big things are you, you've got to beef up your resume with internships, you gotta go seek out your own opportunities, and you gotta be intentional about networking. You've got to make those phone calls, send those emails, and uh, let people know kind of where you're at, what you're looking for, and there's tons of great Red Raiders and, and just other people at companies that are willing to help out new grads and uh, you know juniors and seniors in college and provide those opportunities. Well, thank you so much, Josh, for meeting with us today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>